Welcome to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez, and this is your channel message for November 8th through to the 14th. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right. So I hear something about supply chain and supply food. So um, I feel like some things might be blocked or resources might be not necessarily limited, but there's just a back order on, on some things, but specific around food. So let's be mindful of that. Hmm. Let's see what else they have. I hear some of you saying, I don't notice things like I used to before. And I hear you saying that I used to let everything bother me. Everything bothered me. And now I don't notice any of those things. None of those, it doesn't matter anymore. So you're waking up a new, like a fresh new you, a younger you. A lot of you are sleeping very good at night. I feel like you're going in to sleep and you're, you're um, even saying, I want to have a good dream tonight or bring me a dream. Help me remember the dream. So you're, you're going in with that uh, energy. <clears throat> uh, for some of you, though, I do feel that you are being stretched thin. It's like if I get stretched any further, I'm going to snap and break. So, uh, But I feel like you are going to make it uh, through whatever it is that you're trying to work through, because I do feel this is work related and you're just being too many tasks, tasks, let's say, or, um, too many requirements. All right. So we need to delegate, delegate, delegate is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. All right. I hear something about my cousin, Mary. So somebody's talking about my cousin, Mary. Um, hmm. I hear something about problem child, that they were a problem child and that they're trying to rebuild their life and that they are um, seeing them try to rebuild their life, their home life specific, and uh, that they are sending in, they're taking a drum and they're drum beating this drum like they're, they're actually tapping into their heartbeat and letting them kind of know that they're not alone, that they are being guided. So this uh, obviously would be a cousin. Uh, for this person named Mary, and that, um, and I'm getting a B in this name for this person that's coming through. Um, it's almost like a Bertha Betty B, B. So, um, and they feel like they were kind of maybe a larger woman a little bit, maybe not tall, but maybe a little wider and, uh, or a strong kind of, uh, not strong, but they could do a lot of work, let's say. Um, so, and they're talking about being a nuisance. So they also say that they could be a nuisance to this cousin at, uh, when they were together as well. So she's wishing her well, and she is really helping her to tune into the rhythm of her own heartbeat and find that peace, that, that, that stillness. Yeah, for, because they said there's good big changes coming for you. All right, uh, let's see. All right, for a lot of you, I see that your um, emotional nature is going to be very lighthearted, that um, it's like you're going to feel very playful, you're want, going to want to engage, you you uh, maybe, you know, let's think of like uh, pickleball or, or board games or uh, running a race or competition, but where it's fun. So there's lots of this fun energy coming forward for many of you, the lighthearted, good fun energy. For some of you, you're um, in a period where you feel like you have to stand still because you're enduring something that is painful, but you feel that like it's you ha it's your role to to uh, stay with this painful experience. And they're saying you can it's almost like standing on a bed of nails. You only have one foot on it. It's actually harder than if you had both, I believe. <laughs> but they're just saying just step off. You don't have to. Uh, that's a suffering mentality or suffering for others or uh, proving you're an overcomer or that it's your job to take on the world, you know, that kind of thing. They're saying, no, let that all go. I just got a nice big breath there. So there's a breath of fresh air coming for many of you. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you're taking the time to breathe, to be in the moments, to um, notice other people and thank them. 
It's like, I, you know, I really need to thank other people. It's like I've been so focused on myself, so focused on uh, me and my needs and, and all about me that I haven't bothered to thank the people that have been there to pick up the slack and to help me when I needed help all along here. So I see you reaching out and helping, uh, thanking others and helping them in a way that you would have liked to have been recognized and thanked as well. All right. All right. For some of you, I hear you say, I don't feel like me anymore. Like you're even thinking emotionally, like, is something wrong with me? Because I don't think like I used to think. I don't even feel like I used to feel. I hear grace. So there's been a lot of grace that has come in and lightened your energy and gotten you out of those hard spots, those uh, just dark caves of uh, depression or, or uh, not being able to see the light and the way out. And so you're recognizing that you've had this grace and this nice change and this fruitful and fruitfulness is coming in for you now. So there's lots of good healing for you. Oh, I hear year long and year ahead. It's kind of interesting that that's just coming in. And then this little light just swirled right there when I said that. So uh, this is a completion cycle for many of you. It's uh, if you have a birthday during this month or coming up, it's like you're looking at the year ahead and you're looking at the cycle that you just completed in the last year. And I hear separate or separation. So there was some separate, something where you were separated or a separation. And um, they're saying that um, you've claimed your inner authority through this process. So it's been good for you. All right. Let's see. I'm going to look at uh, the energy for that whole week as a whole. I see a lot of you changing your mind. It's like uh, I was going to do this and it's like you're erasing the chalkboard. Nope, I'm not doing any of that. I'm going to do one thing at a time. I'm not even going to. It's not that you're not going to plan ahead. I'm putting one thing on. We'll finish that. Then I'll go to the next thing. One thing, then the next thing. You're giving yourself time. All right. And as a collective, what we're going to be dealing with, looking at, noticing, uh, being influenced by <clears throat> um, is the stars. So um, I think we're going to have a significant star in the night sky that's going to be showing itself to us more. Um, but I also feel as though there's going to be this um, more of a third eye awakening coming because they put the star right here and the light coming in. It's like some of you are going to be really opening up psychically. Your visions are going to increase. I feel that people are also going to be looking far and away at different things. Like I used to be just local. Like I just noticed what was local. And now I want to know what's going on in other parts of the world. I want to, if I'm going to change my life or career or anything, I can go anywhere I want. Where where would I want to go? What, there's just um, conclusions being made too. Um, confirmations and conclusions. And um, you reprimanding yourself to look outside of your box. Look outside of the box you let yourself function within. Okay, let's see what they have. Life talks to me. I call out to God and God answers. I listen. For the answer might be in the next line I read, in the next picture I see, in the next words I hear, or in the next person I meet. God is everywhere. Try to turn it like that. There we go. All right. So with that, namaste. Thank you all so very, very much.